that right there is an ostrich guys y'all seen my dad's before you know they're a whopping eight feet tall they are the most massive creatures in all the wild until dun 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 isn't that unbelievable though seriously until you meet the mossy giraffe they look so big at first but then you zoom out and now it looks like it's nothing that is literally unfathomable I hope my dad sees this. He would literally be in awe of that right there. Just how tiny Carl looks. Next time we talk about how tall Carl is. We'll yeah. Just, we just have to oh him. my goodness, Carl's so tall. I've never seen anything like him. Giraffe says, hold my beer. You want to know what's really good? What? Ostrich's conservation status is stable. That's good. Imagine if we had one of those at the sanctuary. An ostrich? You do? No, a giraffe. A giraffe. You're afraid of the bigs. You would go nowhere near that. <laughs> Have you seen these friends run? Maybe they're not aggressive. I just told you that when they fight, they whip you with their neck. I mean, they probably fight when they have to, but they're not naturally aggressive animals, I don't think. I mean, look at look at that. Look, much about look at that sweet face. It couldn't hurt anybody. It's a very sweet face. Exactly. Couldn't hurt a gentle. He's a gentle soul. It couldn't hurt anyone. All right, guys, so right here I found what I'm going to name my dad's dream. That's the name of this animal. The, the official name of this animal is my dad's dream, and I quote. Big old cow with humongous horns. I don't think anything would make him happier than to have one of these. Imagine one of these at Longhorn Lester's. You ain't going to find much longer horns than that. <laughs> Guys, this is the craziest thing. We ran into Adam or Steve at the Houston Zoo. Buddy, how'd you get out? Did my dad and Jamie let you come here? He's being hunted by a squirrel. Be careful, bud. There's a squirrel with its eyes on you. And look, there's Pablo right in front. They, Buddy, look, it's Pablo right there. How'd y'all both escape? It really is Pablo and Adam or Steve. I don't know how they both escaped. Yeah, look at them. Two best friends wandering along. They somehow got to the Houston Zoo. They must have heard there's a lot of ducks around here and they wanted to make friends. All right, so we found another Pablo right there, or another Adam and Steve, I mean. I was, gonna, I was really gonna try. And then right there's another Pablo. Okay, there's like 10 Pablos and 10 Adam or Steves. Here. There's another Adam or Steve, look, Bubby. The there's so that's many, the there are so many. There's so many Pablos and Adam or Steve's here, it's not even funny. There's another Pablo right there too. All right, these, these right here are sea lions. I would have thought they were otters or seals if I hadn't read the sign. I don't get why they call them sea lions though, but I don't see how it even remotely resembles a lion. But I guess the thinking is that it's a lion of the sea. But I mean, other than the whiskers it has right there, I don't see how else it's anything like a lion. They're called sea lions because they make a loud lion-like roar. Oh. Well, that would explain it then. I hope, I wonder if they'll, this they'll do it. a California sea lion. A California sea lion. I wonder if they'll do it. Y'all gonna roar for me, guys? They look so happy. They seem to be really enjoying themselves. I see a lot of potential pets here today. Animals that I could easily fall in love with. Animals that are just so, so adorable. What are these right here? Asian small clawed otters. Asian small clawed otters. They're from Asia. They have small claws, I assume, based on the name. Hi, Can you just come home with me? Ooh. Ooh, look at that big you. I know, it's so early in the morning. Oh! They're right there is my fiance spirit animal a sloth i didn't say it she did why do you say that because i can sleep a lot a lot of hours of the day and you don't like to move around a lot no and when i do move i move very slow <laughs> those are all traits of a sloth mm -hmm. i bet you the whole time we're here i bet you if we go around the whole zoo and come back you'll be in that exact same position in that exact same spot
That is one horrifying face right there. I'm not gonna lie. It's not horrifying. That is the ugly. That is the oh, it's the. That's gonna haunt my dreams right there. That ugly little face. What you think that's cute? I do. That it has to be a so ugly it's cute sort of a thing. No, look at his little eyeball. Yeah, that angle looks you, cute. Now look, that, you, you've made him sad. Now he's gonna go away. I'm sorry, buddy. Poor it's what at least you're at least you're beautiful on the inside. Oh, That's the, the inside counts so much more than the outside. Come video. Has a picture of him. Come this video. Is so cute. That cannot be the same one. That one is a. It is. That one has a cute face. No, it's probably like a stock picture. Yeah, that one they found in the wild. That is cute. That one right there is just terrifying. Now the tail skews me out a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, maybe I did make him sad, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh, I just threw dirt at you. That was disrespect. You gonna take that? You really gonna take that, dude? Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> I can tell the one on the left is way stronger, it seems. Oh, look at him pushing him back, pushing him back effortlessly. I know they look like they're moving in slow motion, but in reality, they got from all the way from there to here in like two seconds. You say it's not, it's not fair, Bubby, how they're so big and they still move so fast? It's really not because I move like at a snail's pace and I'm much tinier than them. <laughs> it's really just not fair. <laughs> It's Oklahoma drill. It's football. All righty, guys. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. You know, that was a really, really fun time that me and Meg had. The Houston Zoo, it was awesome. The animals looked happy. They took pretty good measures to make sure that they had a high quality of life. And it, it, was, it was just a very happy place. You know, I think that everybody loves animals. My dad used to always tell me, kind of... When I was younger, for those of you that don't know, I used to want to be like a big gaming YouTuber. I wanted to make Call of Duty videos or Fortnite videos and different things like that. And my dad would tell me like, Ellie, that's great. That's awesome. But think about this. The, the vast majority of people that are into video games are young boys around your age. A lot of females don't play and a lot of older males don't play. There, there's a few. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's exceptions of you watching the video right now, but the majority of it is like one demographic or only one certain group but animal videos bring joy to everybody male or female young middle age or old you name it like animals is one of the most universal things in the world and so seeing people of all different ages and genders and different things like that just coming together and everybody having smiles on their faces i think my dad was onto something there animals really are special they make us all so happy and it was just a happy place. So if you're ever in Houston, you ought to check out the Houston Zoo. But, you know, I hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys want to see. I hope you all have an incredibly blessed day. And as I always say, your boy Ellie out.